Shades on the ground. All stations, we have touchdown. First time we've been ever able to bring actual samples of a comet back to Earth. That's right. This is a, an amazing uh, achievement, I think. Uh, we've done a lot from space with small uh, instrumentation, but now we've got these particles back on our home, home turf and that we can apply these huge and very sophisticated instruments. To Andy Dantzler. Good morning. Well, I'm very proud and very happy to say that after seven years and almost 2.9 billion miles in the harsh environment of space. The Stardust capsule is back on Earth. It's back home. It's in our hands. The um, entry, descent, and landing went flawlessly, and everything went exactly as planned. Call signals. There is the capsule uh, on the ground. Uh, you notice it's got a little mud on the nose of the capsule. Uh, it already has the white patch there is a patch that covers up the vent. There's a vent on each side uh, as a precaution that the battery could have uh, uh, vented. I had a short in the, uh, bringing out the uh, handling fixture, and you notice there's two ba there's bags there on it. There are two bags that they're uh, kind of one of the helicopters landing. By the way, you notice that, that the crew was fully illuminated there. That's because after they uh, offloaded from the first helicopter out, it went up with its night sun to illuminate the area for them to work. Uh, of course, now they're loading it into the Vertigo helicopter. Uh, they well, the scientists will take these dust particles, which are no bigger than a uh, particle of smoke in a, in a cigarette uh, cloud. Uh, they're that small, so they'll take these uh, dust particles, they'll examine them with electron microscopes, they'll use uh, various instruments to understand the chemical composition, the elemental composition, what, are, what uh, are the percentages of the various minerals and metals and uh, elements within these dust particles, and, and hence get a better idea of just uh, what was there some 4.6 billion years ago. They're putting in clean garments, and there's the capsule you, you've already seen. These are the first and uh, there's, you know, taking notes, and these are all carefully planned out the procedures. Now, the, what he's doing now is starting, starting to remove the back part of the